Welcome to the lecture Interfacing of Temperature Sensor LM35 with 8051 Microcontroller. LM35 Temperature Sensor is a precision integrated circuit temperature sensor. Output of this sensor is linearly proportional to the Celsius temperature. This LM35 is a three terminal IC. The terminal number one is for VCC and it varies from 4 to 20 volt, depends upon the application. Pin number 2 is output terminal. Here we get a, a analog output voltage which is proportional to temperature and pin number 3rd is a ground terminal. LM35 does not require any external calibration because it is internally calibrated. Its output voltage is 10 millivolt for every change in 1 degree Celsius temperature. It draws 60 microampere current and since this current is very less, it has very low self-heating. Now to interface this LM35 sensor with microcontroller, we need ADC, analog to digital converter. So this is the interfacing diagram of LM35 with microcontroller 8051. The analog output of LM35 is given to ADC analog to digital converter 0804 which converts this analog input into digital and this digital output of ADC is given to microcontroller. Microcontroller can process on this digital data and the corresponding temperature can be displayed on display. Here 16 by 2 LCD display is shown but we can display this digital output which is related to input temperature on 7 segment display on LED or on LCD display. So let us understand ADC 0804. This ADC is 8 bit ADC. So it has a resolution of 2 raised to power 8. That means there are 256 different digital output values we can get. And this ADC is having only one analog input channel. The step size of this ADC can be adjusted by setting the reference voltage. If reference pin of this ADC is not connected to any source, any supply, then the VCC is treated as a reference voltage. This ADC needs a clock signal and the conversion time of analog to digital depends upon the clock source, value of clock signal. The clock source can be connected externally or there is internal RC oscillator available for which external R resistor and capacitor should be connected. This is the pin diagram of ADC 0804. It is 20 pin IC. The pin number 1 is chip select signal CS bar. To enable this particular chip ADC, microcontroller should send a logic 0 on CS bar. The second terminal is RD bar that is read signal. So when we send a logic high to low pulse on RD bar signal, then whatever data output digital data stored in its internal register that will be placed on the data bus. So it has 8 bit data bus where we get a digital output DB0 to DB7. So this is the read terminal to read a data which is placed on the data bus. The next pin is write bar terminal. So we have to send a logic, high, logic low to high pulse on WR bar terminal and this is start of convergence signal. So when we give low to high pulse on WR bar terminal, this ADC start convergence. So it converts the analog input voltage into digital output. This is the clock in terminal. 
here we can connect external clock signal intr bar terminal it will be at logic 0 when this adc finishes the conversion so when conversion is over adc will send the logic 0 so it is the output terminal of this adc if intr pin is at logic 1 it indicates that adc is processing data and it is busy so we have to continuously check this intr pin to check whether adc has completed a conversion or not then v in terminal is used to connect analog input so output of sensor we can connect to v in positive terminal and v in negative terminal is generally connected to ground Pin number 8 is analog ground which is used for this analog input. Pin number 9 is V reference by 2. So we can connect a V reference voltage at this pin and the step size of this ADC depends upon this reference voltage. If it is not connected to any value then VCC is used as a V reference. So pin number 20 is VCC or we can call it as a V reference when V reference by two terminal is not connected to any supply. Then this pin number 10 is digital ground pin which is used for this digital output. Pin number 19 is clock R. So when we want to use internal RC oscillator to generate a clock signal then resistor is connected to this clock R that is pin number 19 and uh, capacitor between this clock in and clock R. So these are the functions of pins of this ADC and here it is written a suitable RC circuit is connected between the clock in terminal and clock R terminal to use internal oscillator. Now let us go through this interfacing diagram of LM35 with 8051. This is LM35 IC, the ADC IC and 8051 microcontroller. The read bar terminal is connected to P2.0, write bar terminal is connected to P2.1 and this data bus is connected to port 1 that is P1.0 to P1.7. The INTR bar terminal is connected to P2.7. The CS bar is permanently connected to ground. We can connect CS bar terminal to any of the port terminal. But since it is connected to ground, this ADC IC is always enabled. Then VCC terminal is connected to plus 5 volt and we are using external clock signal so clock R terminal is not connected anywhere. This clock in terminal is used to connect external clock signal so here the crystal oscillator the frequency generated by crystal oscillator of microcontroller is divided by 4 and then it is connected to clock in terminal. The clock required for ADC is always less than the clock of 8051 because ADC is slower than this 8051 then only it can complete the conversion properly. Clock is divided externally by this circuit. It is divided by 4 and then it is connected to a clock in terminal. The V in plus is connected to output terminal of LM35. So here we get analog output voltage which is related to temperature. Then the ground terminal of LM35 is connected to ground and that is connected to analog ground terminal and the supply terminal is connected to VCC. V reference by two terminal is set at value 1.28 volt for that here potential divider is used and Zener diode is used to make this uh, keep this voltage stable. Again it will keep this voltage st stable against the fluctuation in power supply. 
So this is the interfacing of LM35 with 8051. Now go, go through some important blocks of this ADC IC. As I told you, we can use an internal clock also. And for that, R and C component should be connected between clock in and clock R terminal. The frequency of this clock signal can be computed using this formula. F is equal to 1 divided by 1.1 RC. General value of R is used as 10 kilo ohm and value of C is used as 150 picofarad. So using this formula, we get a frequency of 606 kilohertz and which gives us the conversion time of 110 microsecond. So at this D0 to D7 line, data lines, we get a digital output voltage and how to compute digital output voltage corresponding to input analog voltage. So that is uh, given, computed using this formula. So D out is equal to input voltage divided by step size. Step size depends upon the resolution of ADC and also upon the reference voltage. So, to compute the corresponding digital output voltage related to input voltage, we can use this formula. Now, the V reference by 2 is used to decide the step size. So, here table gives us for different values of V reference voltage, what should be the range of input voltage and what will be the step size. So, if V reference by 2 is not connected anywhere, that means we are using VCC as a reference voltage. So, input voltage can vary from 0 to 5 volt and step size is computed as V reference divided by 2 raised to power 8, that is resolution of ADC. So, we get 19.53 millivolt. If V reference is 2 volt, then input voltage range is 0 to 4 volt and step size is 4 divided by 256 that is 15.62 similarly we can compute it for 1.5 volt and 1.28 here we are using this reference voltage as 1.28 so input voltage range is from 0 to 2.56 and step size is 10 millivolt so for on this reference voltage, we get a step size of 10 millivolt. So similarly, we can find it for one uh, volt reference voltage, 0.5 volt also. Temperature versus V out. As uh, we know that we are using uh, reference voltage as 1.28 volt. So maximum value of output voltage is 2.56 volt. So for zero degree temperature, the input analog voltage is 0 volt and output digital value will be 0, 0. When temperature will increase to 1 degree, the output will change by 10 millivolt. So after uh, each degree change in temperature, the output will change by 10 millivolt. That is the step size for reference voltage 1.28 and this will be the digital output voltage. If you again change the temperature by 1 degree centigrade, then the output will change again by 10 millivolt. So this is 20 millivolt and this is the uh, output digital value. Similarly, we can compute this change in temperature and corresponding digital output voltage. Now, I will write an algorithm for this. This is the interfacing diagram we are using. The first step is enable this ADC IC. In our case, the CS bar terminal is permanently connected to ground. So, no need to use this step. But if it is connected to any port terminal, then we have to send logic 0 on that port terminal. So, first select this ADC IC and then we'll uh, send a right bar signal. So right bar signal that is start of conversion signal is low to high pulse. 
So first we'll send a logic zero on write by signal and uh, to read a data, we have to transmit high to low pulse on RD bar signal. So first we'll send a logic one on RD bar signal. The next for start of conversion, this WR, WR bar terminal should be now at logic one. That means we are sending a start of conversion signal 0 to 1. We can call a delay between this and after the start of conversion signal, ADC will start converting uh, this data, analog data, and we have to check whether the conversion is completed or not. For that, we we'll continuously check INTR terminal. If it is logic 0, that means conversion is completed. But if it is logic 1, we'll continuously check it till it becomes 0. So we are using here pulling method. So if it is high, conversion is running and if it is low, conversion is over. If conversion is over, we want to send a logic 0 on RD bar pin so that the converted data which is available in internal register will be placed on data bus. So we'll use a polling method. We'll send the RD bar low. So this will uh, use, this will place an internal uh, digital output on uh, data bus D0 to D7. Now this data is at port P1. Uh, microcontroller can store this data in any register. We can process this data that means for corresponding digital output, we can find the temperature and that can be displayed on a display circuit. Here display is not used, so we'll store this uh, result in accumulator. But you can write a program to uh, display this uh, digital output on LCD, on LEDs or 7 segment display. For that, we have to convert this hex data, that is binary data, into BCD. So you can watch a video of hex to BCD conversion that is required to display a data on LCD. So So the assembly language program will write the instruction as per our algorithm. The uh, no need to write the instruction for first step in algorithm because CS bar is connected to ground. So directly we'll send a WR bar terminal 0, 0 uh, low to high pulse we have to send on WR bar terminal. So here clear P2.1 is used. That means we are writing logic 0 on WR bar terminal. Then we'll write logic 1 on RD bar terminal. You can call a delay between this. So A call delay is used here. Then we'll set this P2.1 to logic 1. So it will give start of conversion signal to IC. So conversion will start. But we have to check whether conversion is completed or not. For that, we have to check P2.7 terminal that is connected to INTR. So here I have used jump bit P2.7 to check. That means if this bit 2.7 is at logic 1, continuously check it till it becomes 0. If it is 0, it will come out of the loop and will send a RD bar terminal logic 0. So after this sending RD bar terminal, the data will be available on port P1 that is on data bus. We'll read this data and that data will be stored in accumulator. You have to write a delay subroutine also. You can write a delay using simple register or we can use a timer to generate this delay.